Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, today we'll be going over another one of my random uh, casual 6 card decks. And the theme of this one that we'll be going over today is Pack Tactics from uh, the D&D uh, set. Um, and... Yeah, um... Uh, Without further ado, I'll just kind of move on into the deck. Um, starting off, we have Null Hunter. It's a 2-2 with pack tactics. Whenever Null Hunter attacks, if you attack with creatures toll power 6 or greater, uh, this combat, put a plus one plus one counter on Null Hunter. Let's see, you know, four copies of him. Then we move on over to the four copies of Hobgoblin Captain. It's a 3 1 uh, pack tactic. When Hobgoblin Captain attacks, if you attacked with creatures of total power 6 or greater this turn, Hobgoblin Captain gains first strike until end of turn. Next up, we have a play set or four copies of. Tiger Tribute Hunter. It's a 4 4 trample. Its pack tactic is whenever tribe, Tiger Tribe Hunter attacks, if you attack with creatures total power 6 or greater this combat, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, Tiger Tribe Hunter deals damage equal to the sacrificed creature's power to target creature. After that, we have ourselves four copies of Targnar Dune Fang Null. It's a 2 2. Uh, pack tactics whenever Targnar Demon Fang Null attacks, you, if you attacked with creatures toll power 6 or greater this combat, attacking creatures get plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. And you can also pay two, a red and a green, to double Technar's power and toughness until I turn. With that, we have a couple of singletons here. There's that Du Erden. He's a 3 3 double strike. When does, does that Du Erden gets the Oh, enters the battlefield, create Kogginvar, a legendary 3 1, I bet 4 1, uh, green cat creature token with trample. Whenever a creature dies, if it had power greater than Dizette's power, put a number of plus one plus one counters on Dizette equal to the difference. Then we have Mink's Beloved Ranger. Uh, he's a 3-3. When Mink's Beloved Ranger enters the battlefield, create Boo, a legendary 1-1 one, one red hamster token with trample and haste. And then you can pay X until on a turn. Dark creature you control has base power and toughness XX and becomes a giant addition to its other types. Equivalent of the sorcery. After that, we have Old Knobbone. He's a 7 sound flyer. When a creature you control deals with combat damage to a player, create that many charger tokens. And our last creature up here is Werewolf Pack Leader. The 3 3 pack tactics. Whenever Werewolf Pack Leader attacks, you attack with creatures, toll power. Six or greater this combat, draw a card. You can pay three and a green until I turn. Werewolf pack leader has base power and toughness. Three five three. Gains trample and isn't human. After that we we'll move down to our spells. Uh, two copies of Fighter Class. Uh, when Fighter Class enters the battlefield, search your library for an equipment card. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle. Uh, for 
you know, stage one, uh, level two of it is equipment, equipabilities, you activate cost two less to activate. And its last effect is whenever a creature you control attacks, up to one target creature block blocks it, this combat a fable. That two copies of Cleric Class, which its effects are the first one being if you would gain life, you would gain that much plus one instead. Second effect, uh, whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. And for the final one, when this class becomes level three, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. You gain life equal to its toughness. After that, we have ourselves two copies of Ranger class. Uh, first effect on this one being Ranger. Ranger class enters the battlefield. Create a 2 2 green wolf creature token. Uh, second ability. Whenever you attack, put a plus one plus one counter on target attacking creature. And last one, uh, you may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast creature spells from the top of your library. After that, we have Bard class, two copies. Uh, first ability, legendary creatures you control into the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter. Uh, second effect, the legendary spells you cast cost one red, one green, less to cast. This effect reduces only the amount of colored mana you pay. And last one, whenever you cast a legendary spell, exile the top two cards of your library. You may play them this turn. Next up, we have Potion of Healing. When Potion of Healing enters the battlefield, draw a card. Then you can pay a white tap, sacrifice potion of healing. You gain three life. Uh, next up, we have you hear something on watch. Choose one. Rouse the party. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until that turn. Or set off traps. The spell deals five damage to target attacking creature. Two copies of those. And then we move on to our singletons here. Uh, we have Peldon class. First ability. Uh, spells your opponents cast during your turn cost one more to cast. Second level of this is uh, creatures you control get plus one plus one. And then the last level, uh, whenever you attack, until end of turn, target creature, or target attacking creature gets plus one plus one for each other attacking creature and gains double strike. Next up, we have Holy Avenger. Uh, equipped creature has double strike. Whenever equipped creature deals... Uh, whenever equipped creature... Yeah, deals combat damage. You may put an aura card from your hand onto the battlefield attached to it. Equipment... Equip cost of two and a white. Argentum armor. Equipped creature gets plus six, plus six. Whenever equipped creature attacks, destroy target permanent. Equip cost is 6 colorless. Next up we have Instrument of the Bards. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a Harmony counter on Instrument of the Bards. And you can pay 3 and a green. Search your library for a creature card with mana value equal to the number of Harmony counters on Instrument of the Bards. Reveal and put it into your hand. If that card is legendary, Create a treasure token, then shuffle. After that, we have Belt of the of Giant Strength. Equip creature has base power and toughness 10-10. Equip cost a 10 colorless, but this ability costs X less to cast, where X is the power of the creature it tar targets. <clears throat> You're abandoned on the road. Uh, choose one, make a retreat, return target creature you control to the other's hand, or stand and fight, 
target creature gets plus one plus three until I turn. Teleportation circle. At the beginning of your end step, exile up to one target artifact or creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. And then lastly here we have Explorer's Scope. Whenever a equipped creature attacks, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield tapped. Could cost a one colorless. Going down to our lands, we have six mountains. Six plains. Six forests. A treasure vault, which tap for colorless, or pay XX, tap sacrifice, treasure vault, create X treasure tokens. And Lair of the Hydra. If you control two or more other lands, Lair of the Hydra enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, you can tap it for a green, or pay X and a green, until end, end of turn, Lair of the Hydra becomes an XX green Hydra creature. It's still land, X can't be zero. And with that, at this brings this build to a close. I hope y'all enjoyed listening to my random little kind of like deck build here. Hope y'all enjoyed and see you in the next video. Peace.